旅行，遇见建筑。Landmarks bearing witness to Taiwan's history. Introduction by Ronald Qingrong Cao. Hello, everyone. I'm Ronald Cao. Today, we're introducing some Taiwan's privately run museums. These museums were established after the rise of democracy in Taiwan. The UN and Japan's Nitsumekang University jointly published Museums for Peace Worldwide. In 2009, the Green Island Human Rights Culture Park held an exhibit called Museums for Peace. The main museums include the Taipei 228 Memorial Museum. The Green Island Human Rights Culture Park, the Qingmei White Terror Memorial Park, and the Memorial Foundation of 228. They also include the Gaoxiong's War and Peace Memorial Park, the Nilan Zhen Memorial Museum, the Dr. Chen Wenchen Memorial Foundation, the Qilin Foundation, and the Ama Museum. The last one is a museum about comfort women. The location is in Da Dao Chen. Da Dao Chen is frequented by many tourists. It's worth noting when these museums cooperate together to promote human rights, and when people communicate better about human rights. The Nilan Zhen Memorial Museum was founded in 1999. In 2012, the Taipei City Government named a street Liberty Lane. The central government declared a Freedom of Expression Day in 2016, all because of the Nilan Zhen Memorial Museum's long-term promotion of human rights education. It is seen as a museum that pushes for freedom. Recently, many foreign visitors to Taiwan have visited the 228 Memorial Museum, the Jingmei White Terror Memorial Park, and the Nilan Zhen Memorial Museum. They feel as though they are experiencing the struggle for human rights in post-war Taiwan. The Dr. Chen Wenchen Memorial Foundation was founded in 1998. Commemorating Dr. Chen's love for Taiwan, on July 3, 1981, after being interrogated by a police chief, he was found dead outside the National Taiwan University Library. Dr. Chen's death aroused anger in Taiwanese nationals both at home and abroad. The incident, which came after the Gaoxiong Incident of 1979, and the murder case at the house of lawyer Lin Yixiong in 1980, deeply hurt the Taiwanese people. That's why the Qilin Foundation was established. It was set up in remembrance of the murder of Lin Yixiong's family members. Since 2000, the Qilin Foundation has held lectures and camps for Taiwanese youth who returned to Taiwan from overseas. The foundation also set up a special library for books on social science. In the library, you can find theses, books, and articles on Taiwan's democratization. After the first change of political parties in Taiwan, the foundation worked on setting up a permanent exhibit of Taiwan's democratic movement, which spanned over a period of more than a hundred years, exhibiting the spirit of Taiwan's history. The greatest assets of these private museums are their autonomy and the passion of the curators and volunteer workers. Or you might say Taiwan's assets. The National Human Rights Museum Organization Act, passed in 2017, clearly states the importance of linking the museums together. Our biggest challenge is the museum's future development. How we link the museums together. Will depend on our efforts.